A plea today from officials in Cicero, where the number of people choosing to get vaccinated is among the lowest in Illinois. Let's go to WGN's Dana Rebick. She's live in Cicero with details on this. Dana. Well, we took a look at all of these numbers today, and Cicero is lagging behind, as well as many uh, suburbs in uh, southern Cook County. But when you take a look at the northern suburbs, north and northwest, the vaccine rates are vastly different. And health officials here in Cicero, they are doing all they can right now to convince people to take the vaccine. When we first opened, we had a line around the block. We had a line around, um, there's a little section in the middle with picnic tables and gardens. We had a line there. That was four months ago when the town of Cicero was vaccinating between four to 500 residents per day here at the community center clinic. Those numbers stayed steady through March, then have slowly been declining. Now it's a real struggle to get people in the door. We had two appointments scheduled today. We have three tomorrow. Um, and then we have three on Wednesday. Thursday, we have zero appointments. Right now in the U.S., 46% of people have received at least one dose and 35% are fully vaccinated. Illinois is right in line with the national trend. Suburban Cook County sits slightly below that at 45% and 33%. And Cicero lags behind that average, with 41% receiving one dose and only 26% fully vaccinated. Suburbs with even worse vaccine rates are Harvey and Ford Heights. There only 9% of residents are fully protected. Compare that to Northwest Suburban Barrington, where 90% of people have gotten one dose and 74% are fully vaccinated. I know our rates are not as good as Berwyn, and they're right next door to us. I just really would like to increase our immunizations, and I don't know how else to do that. We asked residents in Cicero why they haven't gotten it yet. I think it's just too early to uh, I think they need more experiment, more time, so you don't know in the long run what are going to be the side effects for that. She's waiting for time. Um, my family pretty much they already get it, uh, and I just wait for time. I don't have any nervous thing about me. They already had it, have it, so I know what, how it's going to be. I have friends and colleagues who have the ability to go get the vaccine and have declined because of some conspiracy theory that it's actually a poison to call some of the population. Health officials here sending health ambassadors door to door and to businesses to quell fears in a community hard hit by the virus with many still unprotected. We can't make anyone do what they don't want to do, but what you can do is you can control yourself and you can get vaccinated to protect you and your family. That's all we can do. Now, the health director here hopes to see an influx of appointments. And now that the CDC, as you just heard, uh, did give emergency use authorization for the Pfizer vaccine for that 12 to 15 age group. Now, here at the community center, uh, they are open Monday through Friday from 9 to 5 and are accepting walk-ins. Live in Cicero, Dana Rebic, WGN News.